filmmaker. Um, and I work across art and ecology. And I've been here uh, in Venice for about four months in residency, looking into um, the current issue that the lagoon is facing and trying to really learn uh, from the ground about um, also the different like uh, ways that those issues are being uh, tackled, the different restoration projects or uh, nature-based solutions that are happening here on the ground. And uh, one of the things I've been um, really interested in doing is to uh, film and uh, sound record on the water um, to get to know uh, the lagoon from uh, below the waterline. My name is Meredith Ruth Bernstein and I'm a conservation ecologist. And what I've been doing here with Sonia is uh, um, accompanying her to do the research for the project, um, doing uh, interviews of people, site visits and also trying to put together a collection of um, images of the lagoon that could be used for monitoring the lagoon. My name is Heather Swanson and I'm an environmental anthropologist from Aarhus University in Denmark. Within the context of this project, I've been really interested in questions of how histories, how cultural practices make their way into the material world around us. What was really interesting to us in this project was to think about um, plants and animals in the lagoon and also the materials of the, of the lagoon, the sediments of the lagoon, as technologies in their own right. We also directly collaborated with a scientific institution, uh, learning uh, from them directly what is happening here, what kind of research is being done. In the context of our project, Sonia uses amazing technologies, the, the, t the tools and techniques of underwater camera work, of underwater sound recording. But at the same time, we're also trying to cultivate new methods to go along with those technologies so that a given technology isn't static but can be used and deployed in so many different ways. One of the things we can get out of this project is this very situated, um, subtle understanding that we've developed and also the perspective that we've tried to, the new perspective that we've tried to develop at the same time. And I think this illustrates how important it is and to always um, be situated um, in the place that you're trying to, where you're trying to solve problems or do conservation. One of the main points that was stressed to us many times was also about the invisibility of the lagoon um, as regard to Venice as a city. And I feel like we taken that uh, into account and try to bring new representation or different representation of what the lagoon is. And we hope that that will um, also generate uh, new ways of sensing or new ways of relating to the lagoon. We're also interested in the cultural richness of the lagoon. And one of the things that's been really important is to have the opportunity to travel around and to speak with fishermen, to speak with hunters, to speak with different local communities, to bring a multiplicity of voices um, into lagoon worlds and to make those uh, present in a different way.